All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a combi adapter from a board that needs no assembly by WaveShare. You can go ahead and take a look at it. This is the board itself. It is the Open 1768 because it uses the NXP uh, LPC 1768 microprocessor, which is what Janus uses for his combi adapter. This is the ARM debugger that you will need to buy in order to program the board. Wire uh, terminal labels are on the back. First pin on the header of the board for the uh, SWD header or JTAG header is the voltage pin or VCC. Uh, fourth pin down in the front row is the uh, SWD input output. Next pin is the SWD clock. Uh, next row on the back, sixth pin from the left hand side is the ground pin. The notch faces us on the header. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. Now, in Device Manager, the ARM debugger shows up as JLink in this case because we have the JLink software installed. We open up JFlash, create a new project, and we need to alter the project settings. The target interface needs to be switched to SWD. I don't remember if I used auto selection, so we're going to use that for the speed. The CPU tab, uh, that was on the target interface tab. The CPU tab, we go to next, change the device, hit the triple uh, period button to select our device. And we want NXP as the uh, manufacturer and find LPC 1768 in the list. One more. All right, we're done there. We want to open Janus's binary file for the combi adapter. Combi firmware one one dot binary. Start our address zero. Connect to our target under the uh, target menu, and it will tell you in the uh, output window, the log window, if you've connected successfully. And then program and verify. Now, there's not a valid checksum at the beginning of Janus's binary, and it will ask you if you want to alter it. Go ahead and say yes. I think we want to hit no for erasing the affected area. And that's it. It is successfully programmed. Uh, we will go back and test the uh, combi adapter with our cable and uh, install the driver in the next video.